So not too long ago, like a couple weeks, I posted a video about some of my favorite pouches and pouches I've used in the past and just a bunch of different pouches that you could look at. And then Wandered was like, hey, we're gonna send you some of our new stuff. We got a new toiletry kit and a new, new tech pouch and an accessory strap that you can also have as an additional accessory for the accessories. And I was like, well, crap, I just did my pouches video. But then I started using them and I was like, oh, no, these, uh, these deserve their own video because these, I think might be the end all be all to my search for the perfect pouch. Let's get into it. Okay, so Wandered is an amazing company. I really love all their products. And when I met them back in January of 2020, I was out in Utah looking for a place to live and I went to their headquarters and met the whole team. It was a phenomenal experience. I told them, I was like jokingly, I was like, you know what you guys need? You guys need a tech pouch and you need a toiletry kit. That would be amazing. And they were like, well, and here we are a year later, they released them and they are phenomenal. Let's get in to all the specs, what they can hold. I'll show you what I put in these. I'll tell you the sizes, everything like that and we'll just go through them. Okay, so this is the medium on both, medium toiletry kit, medium tech pouch. And honestly, these are almost the perfect size. I think for me personally, I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands on the large one just because I want this to be more of like my mobile filmmaker's kit. And what you can do with this is I was able to put like my Pocket 2, the DJI Pocket 2 in here with a GoPro and some additional accessories. So you totally can use this if you're a mobile filmmaker. If you bring a like GoPros, anything like that, even a small drone will fit in a large one. And I think that's more of what I'm probably gonna get in the future. I like the medium. The medium is honestly the perfect size if you're bringing just a little bit of tech gear for your trip. As for the toiletry kit, medium is literally the perfect size. If you're only bringing the bare essentials when it comes to toiletry items on a trip, and I'm talking like deodorant, I put a couple shampoo bottles in here, toothpaste, toothbrush, contact solution, and maybe like a couple other small items, this is gonna fit everything and it's gonna be a very slim and nice minimal profile. Plus, if you do get the accessory strap, one thing you can do is you can hang this up when you get to where you're going. And since this has this cool little magnetic guy here you could hang this over like a towel rack you could hang it off like the place that you put your towel uh like the hand towel anything like that you could hang this up with this same goes with your tech kit you could if you like work at an office right and you're like i need to hang this up so i can have access to everything you could totally put that accessory strap on here and hang it and then have access but we'll get into the accessory strap here in a little bit but honestly these are perfectly size. The toiletry kit also comes in a large and the tech kit comes in a small, medium, and large size. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through what I put in all these. I'm going to start with the tech kit because I found this one to be the most enjoyable to use. I love a good tech pouch and this is honestly, for one, I just want to talk about the material. You can see a difference in the material on the two of these. The, the toiletry kit has more of like a water resistant DWR kind of material while the tech pouch has more of that signature rubbery material that one uh, Wandered is known for. But both of these come with YKK weather guard zips. So you can attach these, and that's the one thing I like. You can attach these on the front of the Duo and the Provoke 21, and I believe also the 31 liter. So if you were to say maybe packing out like your Provoke 21 or your Duo, those are the two that I use the most for photography, uh, more the Provoke than the Duo. Say you're packing those out for photography and you're like, oh crap, I don't really have room for my tech kit, or you're like, I need quick access to this kind of stuff and the Provoke doesn't really offer a quick access compartment, slap this bad boy on the front and you've got access to everything on the front of the bag that you would need quickly. Plus with the weather resistant zips and the material, you can easily, you know, whether it's snowing, raining, whatever, you don't have to worry about any of your gear getting messed up. And honestly, I, I trust this quite a lot. It's very water resistant. I really like that about the tech pouch. That was a super, super solid call for the Wander team to make this weather resistant and attachable to the front of some of their other backpacks. I thought that was an awesome idea. Both of these also have some little extra grab handles, right? So whether you're grabbing this thing out or if you're you know, using this to carry or whatever, or if you wanna get creative with it, I guess. Um, nice, super solid handles. And they also have a bottom handle here that you can put your hand through that I really dig because you can hold this while you open it and have easy, you know, like hold, you can easily hold it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Or if you're walking with it, you can just kind of throw your hand through here and 
and you're good to go. So awesome grab points, awesome handles, great material, very well built. I really like everything they did with the materials and everything like that. Zipper poles, again, standard wandered ones. I just, I really like everything on the hardware and material of this little pouch. Both of these, honestly, very phenomenal. I also like that they made the materials different on both of these. I think that was a really cool way to, um, you know, if you have both the same size like I do, they look almost identical, but you can tell just a little bit by the material, which is which. Okay, and then the other thing you have here on the back are these little G-hooks. And these are the G-hooks that you use to attach it to the front of your bag. Now, what I wanna hit on before I go into what's in these bags is I'm, I don't like G-hooks. I'm very, I'm very bad at G-hooks is how you can easily attach this, well, I say easily, easily following for most, I suck at G-hooks, I really don't like them, but you just basically slide it up in there and clip, and then it becomes satchel mode, right? However you wanna carry it. Now, in their pictures and stuff, they have taken off the additional G-hooks right here that are on there in order to attach the strap. I personally, when I was testing it out, just threw it on there and left those G-hooks on there and just said, eh, whatever and just kinda did it that way because I found it easier than trying to remove G-hooks and then put G-hooks on and then you're taking this off and you're putting these back on. You can just basically kinda just throw them on there through the loop. So the accessory strap was a really cool addition and it's really nice if you get to where you're going and maybe you don't need a day bag, maybe you just literally need a small tech pouch or maybe a little bit larger of a tech pouch. You just throw that strap on there and boom, you've got yourself a little make slip sling. Make slip sling, make slip sling, slip sling, sling, make slip sling. Okay, let me show you what I got in these. So on the tech pouch, you have your quick access. Now this pocket at the front is got a soft lining. So if you wanted to put sunglasses, anything you're worried about getting scratched, anything like that can fit in here. Now what I've done is I've put a little baggie of Advil. I know a lot of people put this in their toiletry kit. I like to have um, it with my tech pouch because I use my tech pouch more when I'm traveling. So that's where my Advil goes. Same thing with my Chapa stick. Chapstick goes in my tech pouch because this is what I'm using the most. And then an extra mask because this is now just part of my everyday life is having extra masks everywhere I go. Super solid pocket. I like the addition to the, the soft line. You could fit a small phone. I don't know if, yeah, I think maybe the iPhone, the bigger iPhones is uh, pushing it on the size of this pocket. That's also, I use that to make sure my thing is still recording. So if you ever see me looking down, because I want to make sure I'm still recording because sometimes my recordings go out and I have to re-record everything. It's so much fun. Um, I like the front pocket. Not quite big enough for a um, like a phone or anything like that, but that's okay. Honestly, and probably on the large, you might be able to fit one of the larger phones in there, but a nice pocket nonetheless. Now on the inside, it's your standard, like kind of stereotypical tech pouch that we've seen a lot lately where it opens like accordion style, kind of like this, right? So if you can see in there, I've just got a bunch of random little accessory items. I'm just gonna go and show you um, what I've put here at the front of my bag is an, uh, my hard drive, my little slim hard drive, and then an extra power bank. That just kind of fit nicely in the main large compartment here. And then you also have a spot here for pins. So if you want to put like a smaller notebook in here, you totally could. And then in the two little pouches behind that, I've put an Apple mouse and just an extra charging brick. You see those two little pouches right there, right here. So that is a good spot to put extra larger items. Now I found that you can't, you can't quite fit things like a power charger in those two little uh, extra spots, but that's okay because I found that that main spot fits both of those perfectly. Then on the back here, you've got spots for cables and that's just where I've put, um, this is like an iPhone accessory. I've got uh, cables for my pockets and then extra iPhone pocket or iPhone cables, right? So easily can fit a lot of your tech gear. Now, this is honestly basically what I run with. Most of my mobile film kit stuff goes in the Peter McKinnon pouch that I've had. Honestly though, I like this a lot more. It's, um, I can fit all of my accessories for my pocket too in here and it's, it's thinner. Then that like bulky foam case. I know that the bulky one is a little bit more protective, but honestly, this is kind of more in line with what I want, especially since I do a lot, I'm just gonna let you know, I do a lot of my behind the scenes, like YouTube filming and photography with the Wandered Provoke. That is like my main go-to bag for filming YouTube videos. Usually I'm not the one wearing it. Usually it's my friend that comes with me. You've seen him in a couple of my like vlogish videos. He's usually wearing that bag 
or he has that bag readily available when I'm going out to shoot B-roll. And I think that having this attached to the front, I can have all my pocket stuff there, I think is probably the way I'm going to go moving forward. Uh, but you can easily fit all kinds of tech gear on here. I'm not a big person that brings a lot of tech gear, but maybe, you know, the medium will fit what you need, or possibly you might need to go up to the large. I know that the large can definitely fit, like, like I said, smaller drones and things like that. So definitely I'm probably going to invest in that and, and probably just end up carrying both. Another cool thing I just remembered while I'm sitting here talking about it is you can actually attach the medium to the large. Um, you can like do like a weird like Russian nesting doll, but they're on top of each other like this kind of thing you can even with these you can attach both of these like this if you do the g-hook and you can hook them to where they're together like this if you wanted to so just tons of things you can do with these right and i'm just all over the place because i'm there's just so much to remember right but overall very super solid tech pouch big fan like this a lot let me move on to the torture kit now i found that the front is where i had to put my deodorant because it didn't quite fit anywhere where I wanted it to on the inside, but that's okay. I found that I can just put my deodorant right here on the front and have no issues whatsoever. So this is not like a soft line pocket. This is a great spot for your essential items. Maybe your deodorant, if you want it to be, depending on how you run the inside, things like maybe your chapstick, maybe your condoms, maybe your dental floss, maybe extra toothpaste, things like that. This is a great pocket for it. That's also where I've put, like I put my extra contacts in this one so stuff like that is great i also put an extra wedding ring in there um i bought a six pack i am down to two i am very bad um at keeping track of them and my wife says at least they're cheap that's why we're not buying me a real metal ring that's why we're gonna keep getting the cheap ones off amazon because i can't keep track of them so i'm not spending hundreds of dollars on a ring i'll probably lose so on the inside this is how i ran it right just simple easy and honestly, very basic. I put, these are my three liquids. I've got contact solution, shampoo, and um, body wash because I don't have a lot of hair, so I don't need it. Uh, my little Quippy, look at this, this is cool. This is like a James Bond gadget. This is my dental floss from Quip. I like that a lot. And then I put um, like extra Kleenexes or tissues in there just because I like to have that. And then you've got two mesh guys here at the side. I put a contact case in one and there's nail clippers in the other if you can see that right so great spot for extra items and then on this side is where you put the toothbrush it's got a spot here for the head so you run the toothbrush through and the head stays clean it's antimicrobial for that uh, little head spot right there so you can see this is the whole thing nice and open right there honestly it fits everything perfectly this is my toiletry kit loadout I don't bring a lot Right, I've been trying to practice traveling lighter and lighter and lighter. The more I do this channel, the more bags and products I get, the more I try to downsize what I'm taking. And honestly, these kits are uh, pretty much in line and perfect for people that want to be forced to take less. I say this quite a bit on this channel that you know, if you really want to start trying to pack minimally, if you really want to start bringing less, buy a product that forces you to bring less. Don't buy that extra large toiletry kit and be like, well, I'll only pack it out halfway. Buy the smaller toiletry kit and then be like, okay, what, <laughs> what needs to go in here? What am I bringing? Am I bringing that? Nope, too big, can't take it. You know what I mean? I think that that is a good way if you want to practice taking less. If you don't care about taking less and you're like, I'm gonna check a 55 liter suitcase whether I'm going down the street or I'm going to California, then, you know, it doesn't really matter and that's fine. You don't have to travel minimally. I mean, that's a very common misconception is that, you know, like minimalism is the end all be all is that if you don't travel with one bag that's 30 liters with three pairs of shirts and two pants and all your essentials in there, then you can't travel right. But that's wrong, right? Like everyone's different. Everyone's going to travel different. Everyone has different needs and everyone's going to have different wants, you know, just because Joe Schmo down the street can travel with a 30 liter bag doesn't mean you have to if you don't want to. It's all up to what you want. Personally, I like traveling light because I can avoid baggage claim, I can avoid baggage fees, and it's just easier on me. That's me. My wife will tell you a different story. Um, but where was I, where were we? We were talking about these, right? These are great for making you take less. These are the mediums, like I said. I, um, I think that large 
on the torture kit would be very would be very large. I think it'd be too much for me. And I think that the large on the tech kit is perfect for people that bring a lot of camera equipment. Another thing you can easily fit in here is like a, a point and shoot camera would easily fit in here. So honestly, these are the Wandered pouches, right? With the accessory strap. I like this setup that Wandered did. I also like that lately Wandered has just been releasing stuff straight to the website. You know, they just, unless it's a bag, or like a big product, they don't even bother with a Kickstarter, which I think is really cool. It says a lot that they're like, hey, this is a product, we made it, we trust you guys are gonna like it, we're just gonna put it out there, we're not gonna try to fund it, we don't need to fund it, it's ready to go. And I think that says a lot. They did it with these and they did it with their camera straps, which I need to get their camera straps actually. I need to try those out, maybe throw them in a video. Maybe I'll do like a what's in my camera bag and, and throw the straps in there as well. So I think Wander's making great products. I think the only thing they need now is, is a packing cube, right? That's the only thing I think they're missing. So with the risk of this video being way too long talking about two products, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about these handy dandy nifty little pouches, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my very best to answer those for you. Um, shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com. And I have a Patreon if you want to jump over there, chuck in a buck and support me on Patreon. All that money goes back into the channel as well as every 15th of the month, every month on the 15th, I do a giveaway for my Patreon subscribers. It's either an accessory or a bag depending it might even be one of these guys in the future you never know um so if you want to just get bonus content and early access to stuff and support the channel a little bit more and have a chance to win free stuff head over there um other than that thank you guys so much for uh supporting this channel leave a like if you can thank you to wandered for to morgan specifically for sending these out to me super appreciate it these are awesome and um i'll see you guys next time